Today, I'm gonna to show you a DIY hack to ensure your switch never gets scratched inside the dock. Okay, so the original Switch that launched back in 2017 and even the sort of slight revision back in 2019 had an issue with the docks where the dock could potentially scratch your screen. So loads of people were making little sleeves to go over them and all that kind of stuff to basically stop that screen getting scratched. Obviously, if you used a screen protector, then that's gonna get scratched instead. So it wasn't so bad, but still you don't want that, do you? So back in 2017, I had an idea that I've been using on all my docks since. I think I've got three docks and I've done this to all of them and I've never ever had a scratch. So I've just got the Switch OLED. If you haven't seen our unboxing video as well as our Metroid 5 Dread unboxing video of the special edition where I open everything, go and check those videos out because, you know, why not? So with the new dock, there is some slight changes and even more so than I realized during our unboxing. So in the dock itself, if we go to the top camera, you might not be able to see it. But down inside here, I've got to find it myself. Inside there, there is actually a little tiny rubber piece. So they've even thought about it themselves as to try and stop that scratching happening. Now, again, you probably won't see it on camera because it is so tiny and it's black on black gloss, but there's a tiny, tiny square of rubber just to space the screen off from that plastic to try and avoid that scratch. Why then just make the whole thing rubber? I have no idea. But anyway, they have made this slightly different from the original dock where it's slightly got a bit more space to it. So it's not as tight essentially, but still, we are still going to be doing this DIY hack to ensure that it never gets scratched. And I'm gonna do it on my Switch OLED dock right now with you today. But there are some things we're gonna need first. So the first thing you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. So we are gonna need some scissors. You are going to also need a ruler. So of any size really, as long as it's sort of bigger than maybe 10 centimeters, that'll be fine. Or just a straight hedge. You don't really need a ruler, but a ruler really helps. You're gonna need a pencil as well. And then the most important piece, and this is sort of the, the biggest part of this entire DIY hack that we're going to be doing today, is we're going to need this. And what this is, is essentially just a sheet of felt, but there is something special about it because on the back, it's actually sticky on the, on the back. So basically there's a piece of paper and if we go on the top down, so on the back look, it's actually adhesive. And the good thing about this is because it's so thin, because it's just literally a tiny piece of felt, what we can do is cut this peel the back off and then stick it to the rails of our dock to ensure that it never gets scratched essentially. And because the rails inside, which are probably a little bit hard to see, but they're, they're only very small. They're just very smallly spaced inside there. And it means that we can put this felt on there and it won't get scratched. I've actually done this one already like years ago. Um, so you might be able to see just inside here that there's felt running along the inside of both rails, front and back, just to be sure. Um, even though really you only need to do it on the front because that's where the screen's going to be facing. But just because I like things staying as uh, nice as possible, I'm gonna do it on both sides. So what I've done already is gone and marked out the sizes that we need. So as you can see here, I've already measured and I've already ruled out exactly the sizes that we need. So the two smaller ones are for the front because we're taking into consideration that little rubber grommety bit. I'm not going to cover that. I'm gonna leave that exposed. So this is going to just sit above that rubber piece. And then the back ones don't have any sort of protection. So I'm gonna do it the full length. Now, if I just get my ruler again and show you the size, we're looking at one centimeter wide by uh, five and a half centimeters in length for the front pieces. And this is for the Switch OLED dock. If you're doing it on the normal dock, then you wanna go by the measurements that I'm gonna tell you now, which is for the back of the OLED dock. And that's still one centimeter wide, but this time we're six and a half centimeters in length. So it's just an added centimeter essentially. So once you've done that and you've actually marked these out, you can get rid of your ruler and your pencil. And now all you're going to need is your scissors and try, <laughs> 
try and cut them as well as you can. I mean, at the end of the day, if it's messy, you ain't really gonna see it anyway. It's on the inside of the dock, but you know, you want it to be like fairly precise because that way it will be easier to actually place it on the inside. So I'm going to uh, just cut away now. So this will be the first of the two front pieces. And again, because this is just thin felt with an added, uh, an adhesive back, wow, Andy, I cannot talk, can I? I mean, if you're a follower of us, then you uh, you realize my speech is horrendous, even though English is my native language. <laughs> but anyway, all you've got to do is cut this out. And because it is that thin felt, it's really, really easy. You can see now that, you know, I'm, I'm just doing this very, very easily. I mean, I feel like I'm on an early 90s sort of children's program, maybe like Blue Peter or something like that. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe we do a Blue Peter style series on how to modify things with uh, felt. <laughs> but anyway, this is going to work. I can guarantee you it works every time. I've been using this on all three of my Switch docks and I've never ever ran into a problem. Okay, so now I've got all, all of my pieces ready. So I will just show you on the top down. There's my felt. So nice and simple. I've got two shorter ones and then two longer ones. So there we go. There's two longer and two shorter just there. And what I'm probably going to do is work on the front first because they're a bit smaller and it might be a little bit more fiddly because I'm going to try and make sure that they stay above that rubber piece on the front there. I do like the fact that Nintendo realized it was an issue, made the dock a little bit like bigger in space. There's a bit more depth there. Um, and they've also added that little piece of rubber. But again, I mean, yeah. So now all we need to do is essentially get our piece of felt, which is just here. And then the trickiest bit is actually getting your nail under and peeling it off. But once you've done that, it's fairly easy. Now, the only thing here is, is you pretty got much got one shot to get this lined up properly. So, you know, hopefully you can see on the top down, you might not because it is black felt and I am gonna try and do this properly, <laughs> but you get the idea. All you've got to do is sort of stick it above where you think it's gonna go and then gently roll it up and over and there we have it. Number one is done. It's so, so easy. Like this, this trick is so simple and you don't have to worry about stuff covering the nice switch dock if you've got the new white OLED one because it's much nicer than the original. You don't have to put any like accessories on and this, this felt literally costs maybe 50 pence in the UK for a sheet like this. So this costs you next to nothing because I'm pretty sure you're going to have scissors, a ruler and a pencil already. So this is the sort of cheapest solution to fixing this issue. So let's go ahead and do the other side. So nice and simple. Again, I've just slotted it in there. And then all I'm doing is pushing it down pretty firmly just to make sure that it sticks correctly. And I normally try and push the top up a little bit just to roll it up a piece. That's the front sides done, which again, because of this high gloss, you might not really be able to see it, but there is that nice felt there, which you might be able to see now. So you can see there's just a nice felt piece there. I'm not going to worry about the bottom because there is that little spacer there. This is sort of for the majority of the screen that's gonna be sat in there. So um, I'm just gonna do the backs as well just to make sure that it doesn't scuff the back of my Switch because I am a little bit particular about keeping things in as best condition as I can, which um, I'm sure some of you will be able to understand. <laughs> and again, you might be able to see, but you might not on the, uh, the other camera. I'm just gonna place it towards the sort of top end and try and get it centered as much as possible. And this is going much smoother than when I originally did it for the other uh, switch. And I think it's because there's that little bit of extra room as well. So uh, I did find it a little bit of a fiddle the first time that I did it, but there we go. The back is done. So again, you might not be able to see, but now next to my fingers there, there's actually felt on either side. So all the way down that side and all the way down this side as well. So I've just got one more to do now and we're nearly done. So you can see how quickly this uh, solution is to install. It's super fast 
and super effective as well. So this is the last piece. And there we go, that's all sides done. So as you can see now, there's felt along this side, there's felt along the back side, and that's on both sides. And if you give me two seconds, I'll get my switch and I'll show you that it fits in there fine. Okay, so now I've got my lovely switch OLED right here, as you can see on the top down, what a beautiful, uh, piece of kit this is. Make sure if you haven't seen it already, go check out our unboxing and make sure to subscribe as well because we have so much more content coming uh, about the Switch OLED with gameplay, we've got comparisons coming, like all this stuff, so uh, stay tuned. But anyway, I wanna show you that this works fine. So on the top down, you can see the Switch dock is right there. I'm just gonna move this one a little bit. And now we're gonna get our Switch and there we go slides in perfectly. There's not even any sort of extra grip there that's going to be uh, forcing the switch down, if that makes sense. There's no added pressure because they have made it a little bit wider. And even with the old dock, I can just show you here, because this one's already one that I've done earlier. If we take the uh, switch OLED out and pop it in the old dock, again, just goes in super smooth. There's no resistance there or anything like that, but you're going to uh, guarantee that there's gonna be no scratches on that screen. And this does not have a screen protector on it yet. But I would recommend that you get yourself a screen protector for your old Switch or your new one if you've got a Switch OLED, um, just because that's gonna protect against scratches anyway. But definitely do this trick. This hack does work. Um, I can guarantee you that because I've been using it for the past three years now. So I highly recommend that you check this out. And again, like I said, it costs about 50 pence for a sheet of that felt. It takes maybe five minutes to actually install it. And if you get stuck, then rewatch this video and comment down below if you've got any other suggestions or if you need help, then I'm always willing to uh, lend a helping hand. But anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more and check out our website, 128kb.co.uk. I'm Andy, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.